Hello. Right, I'm just showing you the basically <coughs> the first release of XBMC for kids. That's basically what I called it. Essentially what this is is a slimmed down Xbox Media Center um, with a custom skin and a few custom scripts to do the kind of back end work. Uh, what this does is it allows you to have separate profiles which you can already do but each profile has their own save directory so for instance if I launch Carla she would have her own saves if I launch Connection he will have his own saves and so forth now it works dynamically so it works for all scripts so right now we're in edit mode so what I'll do is I'll load into this profile which is the master profile public settings profiles that's what done again. Now I'll add a new password called uh, Yun. Yeah. Alright, so what you do is select your image. Do that one. Copy default, copy default. Now you push the right analog stick in to log out. You can do that anywhere. But I'll tell you what these are. What this does is auto install game. This will launch a custom script which will allow you to install games. So you can pick your directory or you can browse to a custom one and then it will load DVD to Xbox and install the game for you. Or you can do it manually and um, if you want to say you've got a disc with multiple games on it and you want to take a thing and you don't want them copied on as just one disc. So you can separate the games out then you would launch it manually and we'll log out. Now as you can see there's a new save, there's a new profile called Yun. Now in edit mode this allows you to edit the profile. Right, so you can get and change this. Now edit mode also when you first load this you'll see. You don't need an edit mode to do the next part. Now it says everything set up, enjoy. Please change the skin to profile skin. Go to settings. Get the password done. Appearance. And change it to profile skin. And then you just back out. And now, depending on how many games you've got, I'll now pass all the games. Um, which can be very time consuming. Um, it's set up to look in the F drive and the G drive if you have it, both under the folder games. Um, this can be set up for emulators, um, so you could have one profile for emulators, one profile for games, uh, one profile for apps. Um, it's only stuff in the programs folder but I suppose it could be modded to work with movies. So you could just have all the movies, it loads straight into like you could have a profile for movies, a profile for games, a profile for emulators, or you could have eight, nine profiles for emulators, so you could have a whole list of emulators or different types. You could have FPS, racing, blah 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 blah, and they could all have their individual profiles and they'll have their own UData folder. And you can also load them from all different folders, but you can edit some XML files for that. That's possible. So, as you can see, it's loaded. So, by default you get the blue background, now if you want to change wallpapers you push up and then you can select colour, so Yun stays a girl, sounds like a girl's name. Um, also get fan art support, which I might need to fix there down the bottom left, I'll fix that, and I'll update the zip file, um, but as you can see I modified I made the view, the default view, it's now more, it looks nicer. I also got the yeah, basically quick search bar thing, drag bar. Um, now the default edit mode's on, so if I press the black button, I can get into settings, and I can go in and change settings. So this is only for parents essentially, or people that don't want people changing anything. Um, so I'll log off now. To disable 
lock and load or sorry edit mode you use a button combination on the lock in screen so you push up up down down left left right right A and it will restart and edit mode is disabled now I've done it this way so that basically I push white it does nothing um, I made it like that so that once it's on the Xbox you don't need a PC try and make it as simple as possible um, to work so you know I even down the bottom left it says what buttons to press to shut the background now these backgrounds can be customised as well um, you could if you want just FTP some images into the media folder media backgrounds folder and you just name them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 um, and it would show up in here and then you can just select them so you can have custom backgrounds as well. I didn't add the option for like multi images and stuff like that. Um, because it's meant for kids. It's meant, I'm meant for people that just want games and that's it. And a nice skin and a nice way to display the games. Um, as you can see it fades. That's so you can see the background. And um, if you've got a custom background it fades after 3 seconds so that you can see it. And then you just go back down again. So that's basically that. Um, it's released, it's on the XBMC forums. Oh, sorry, the XBMC for Xbox forums, I should say. Um, so, hopefully, you found it useful. Um, I've, I've created it, done it because I've got two children, two daughters, seven and six, and they like to touch stuff they don't, they're not meant to. And the last thing, the, XB, the default XBMC. There's lots of things they can touch, they can delete stuff, they can get into menus they're not meant to be in, they can change views that I don't want them to change views. And the master lock just didn't cut it. Not to the extent I wanted anyway. Um, so this is the workaround for it. Hopefully it's useful to some people. And thanks for watching.